The Mason Minute with Kevin Mason. You probably haven't even heard about this yet, but this week Apple announced they're going to allow podcast subscriptions. Now, that's just not everybody. I mean, I guess if I wanted to, I could go to Apple and say I want people to pay for the Mason Minutes, but I'd be kidding myself. And I ask you, are there podcasts you're willing to pay for? I have to admit, I'm a big fan of podcasts. Not only my own podcast, which has been going on now for over a decade, but other podcasts I listen to. And there are some I've become fans of that have come and gone. And there are some that I still listen to to this day, but yet they get a little bit longer, get a little bit more boring. And I wonder if they're going to try to go to a subscription model. Now, I understand when there are some organizations, especially a lot of newspapers and television stations, radio people, things like that, trying to find ways to monetize their podcast. Commercials, well, nobody loves them. Nobody wants them. And sometimes you have to endure some commercials to listen to a podcast or two. But at the same time, are you willing to pay for this? You never have to worry. I'm never going to charge for the Mason Minute. Besides, what would you pay for seven minutes of listening a week? Yes, it takes time, and yes, it takes money, but at the same time, what are you really getting from it?